Now I'm going to talk about selecting the best domain for your internet presence. What is that all about? Remember that the domain name works as your brand name of your website or product. So think about it carefully before going to buy one. Don't rush for the first name that comes to mind. Once you decide on a subject for your website, the next step is to get a domain name. It is absolutely imperative that you do get a domain name. Sites without their own domain name look unprofessional right from the start. And so you want to stay away from free um, software, those places on the internet where they give you a free um, website with their software product and then their name is also in the domain name of whatever websites you're creating. You really want to stay from the free offers. It's very unprofessional to have a free website. The best place to go for a domain for under $15 a year is GoDaddy. And if you're not willing to spend that much on your website, then you should reconsider making one altogether. A domain name is not just your address on the web. It also doubles as a name and can be as important or more important than the title you give your site. This is your online presence, your business reputation on the line here with your domain name. Here are some tips of how you can make and select the best domain name. Something to consider. Is it memorable? For example, easy to remember. Is it easy to pronounce? Try not to pick a domain name that has nothing to do with your website. You want to pick a domain name that does have something to do with your website. A domain name should not be too long because the longer the name, the harder it becomes to remember and spell. And there are a lot of people out there that buy misspellings of domain names to get people to come to their website. So you really want to pick a domain name that's, like I said, easy to remember and not too long and has no complicated spellings. A domain that's too short also doesn't do the trick. It must contain a few keywords that relate to the niche or niche of your website. Domain names must be SEO or search engine optimization friendly. If the required domain name is not available, then you can use hyphens, although I would discourage that. But you can if you really want a domain name and someone else has it. You can also do it with a different extension. If someone has a domain name that you want and it's .com, you can pick the same domain name with the extension .net. Prefer the .com extension first. If not available, then go for the .net or .org, etc. extensions. Protect your name by registering multiple extensions. Um, register it under .com, .net, and .org. That protects all three of those domain names. Your domain will be able to put a small shadow on visitors' minds about what your website is all about. And a good domain name will help you get traffic to your website. So now I invite you to move on to my next lecture on domain name extensions so you can further your knowledge of how to pick a domain name that will work well in the search engines. And then at the end of this entire section, there is a domain quiz that I would like to invite you to take so that you can test your knowledge.